Go to the Tools panel in Photoshop and select the Rectangle tool and create a rectangle. Now the initial setting here is zero, so you can set zero for your rounding of your rectangle. You can set it to any value. You can turn around and say, I want the initial rectangle to be with 50 for my corners. And there it is, 50. You can see here in Properties. You can go find that in Window Menu and Properties. And you can also interactively modify it. So once you've created that, this doesn't change. You can then obviously change it up here. You can turn around and say, I want 100. Doesn't change the created shape, just the next shape that you create will be created with 100 instead. But you can go here and you can modify these and you can see as you change that, you can make it, put it back to zero if you want, or go that way. And again, key thing is the rectangle tool is selected and you can move it back and forth. Now there's a certain point it will stop. You can see it, 205, that's it. It's decided I've rounded enough, no further. And you can continue to do that. You can always come back to it later, so you work on something else, come back to here, and you can still see you've got your interactive controls. You can modify that. You can also go here as well to properties. So if you want to change it, you can link it, just click there, and that will link the, all these ones. So if you go and say, you know what, I want it to be 20. So they all become 20, which is nice if that's what you want to keep. Also, you've got this setting down here, which is odd that you just put that, it seems to be not particularly much use. However, you can put 50 in there and you can see as you do that, obviously it all becomes 50. But you can delink it or decouple it, what you want to call it. And you can say, you know what, I want that as two. However, you can still continue to modify this, but this one, it will change. So if you just go over there, but it will be slightly, obviously different from all the way through again. Of course, you can always just link it again. And if you put 20 there, it will still weirdly not actually, but it just links it as when you create the linking. So you might want to just put it all back to 68 or something like that. And you can continue obviously to modify these as well if you want to do it that way. And you, if you do something else, let's just rotate it. You can rotate design, maybe apply various other ones. Now there's certain transformations that will break it. It will suddenly say, you know what? Oh, that's it. Not gonna be a rectangle anymore. So there, you've still got that even in that shape. You can modify that and continue to tweak. And you can say, you know what? I want it to be 20, that corner there. And maybe that corner 40. And so, so you can create a variety of different designs. However, say you decide, you know what? I don't want this anymore. Well, how do I get rid of it? Well, unfortunately, there's no expand to regular. You can do it in Illustrator, but my usual workaround for this is I normally go and quickly create a custom shape. So create custom shape. Obviously that does not have any rounding. Be lovely if it did. Doesn't have a rounding feature. Select both of those shapes. And now, of so course, I can still modify the rounding. It still hasn't changed anything. But what you can do, you can go to layer, and please put in the comments below if you can know of an easier way to do this, but this is the way I've always done it. Unite shapes. So I've united the shapes, and then go over here, direct selection tool. You can go over here and you can say merge shape components. And it's merged. Now you'll see if I go back, let's just go back to the rectangle. It's no longer a rectangle. So you've got it to a regular shape now. I say, maybe there's easier ways of doing it, but this, that's the way I've always just applied it. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.